Oh yeah, Dr. Love is here to welcome you all to chick flicks that don't completely suck. It's that time of year where guys need to prove how much they love that special lady by buying them stuff and doing things they really don't want to do. You got her some nice flowers and chocolates, go out for a wonderful meal and can't imagine being more in love. Then she has to go and say, can we watch the notebook? And you'd rather spend the night sleeping on the couch by yourself. Well, Dr. Oz has tortured himself over many hours to help avoid that situation from happening. The following four movies are compromised. Both of you can enjoy, and you will totally get laid. Oh yeah. Up first, we have 16 Candles. It's Samantha's 16th birthday, but she still feels like a little kid. She constantly finds herself surrounded by dorks, but wants a little something more. Hey, that's Cootie from UHF! Nice! Just saying, ladies, but going for the dork isn't always a bad thing. They'll probably treat you really, really well, and John Cusack used to be a dork, but look how good he turned out! But Samantha has her sights set on more difficult game, Jack Ryan, the best looking and most popular guy in school. The problem is, he's already dating the prom queen. How can she possibly even compete? What Sam doesn't know is Jake is tired of the hot party girls and looking for someone more caring and down to earth. Jake has noticed Samantha watching him and he can't seem to stop thinking about her and wondering what if. The only thing keeping them apart is Samantha's ability to tell him how she truly feels. The many actors you would recognize, some pretty funny jokes, and all the 80's nostalgia you can handle will have even the manliest guys saying... This is getting good. I'll admit Love Actually is a bit more chick flicky but it's still very entertaining. There are enough storylines going on that it's pretty tough to do in a short clip, but here goes nothing. qui Gon Jinn's wife just died, Hugh Grant is Prime Minister of Britain... Wait a sec, is this even a movie? I thought that was true! This girl is a huge Harry Potter fan and wants to bang Snape, and Snape is trying to get this other girl laid. Shaun of the Dead's dad is trying to make a comeback in his music career, and these two just got married. And last but not least, next time on The Walking Dead, Rick Grimes is trying to bang your wife. There are lots of scantily dressed women, lots of laughs, and lowbrow comedy to keep all you gents out there entertained while the wife is wiping that salty liquid from her eyes at the sad parts. What is that stuff anyways? This movie also has one of the best pieces of advice ever. Get a grip. People hate sissies. No one's ever gonna shag you if you cry all the time. Love Actually also counts as a Christmas movie, so you can kill two birds with one stone. Ooh, you saucy little minxes. I don't remember lobsters or Spider-Man being in the nativity scene, but I would go to church a lot more if they were. Yup, bridesmaids. This has got to be the easiest sell for your ladies watching out there. This movie is hilarious. Annie's life kinda sucks. She's got a crap job, crap apartment, and doesn't have a decent boyfriend. Things are so bad she can barely even get happy for her friend's wedding. Not to mention she doesn't get along with one of the other bridesmaids, Helen, and is in constant competition with her. To make matters worse, everything she plans for the wedding literally turns to shit. Take some advice from a good friend of mine. When you look all sweaty and pale like that, there's only one of two things you need to do. Oh, look away! Don't worry, nothing a little bachelorette party in Vegas can fix. All fe female hangover remake? <laughs> Not quite. The only thing going right for her is she meets a guy who cares about her, so she obviously walks away. How are us guys supposed to know what you want when even you guys don't know what you want? Of course, a surprisingly flexible Melissa McCarthy steals the show. See if she can slap some sense into Annie before she completely goes off the deep end. Well, you can't say she didn't try. Last but certainly not the least is my favorite of the four movies, Ghost. Sam and Molly can't imagine being more in love. I mean, what's more freaking romantic than doing pottery together? Of course, that's about to change or this would be a pretty boring movie. On the way home after a play, Sam is shot and killed in a bungled mugging. Small world! The exact same thing happened to Batman's parents! That's gotta be quite the trip looking down on your own body like that gives me the freaking heebie-jeebies. Instead of going to the light, Sam decides to stay and help solve his murder and make sure his wife is safe. It'd be pretty cool to get to go to your own funeral like that. See who shows up? Mine will probably just be my cats and my parents, and the cats just showed up to eat my corpse. Just saying, but if your husband is murdered, has his wallet and house key stolen, you should probably change the locks. Man, pants weren't really flattering in the 1990s, were they? 
To save his wife, Sam goes to see a psychic who turns out to be Whoopi Goldberg! Though she's actually a complete fraud, Whoopi can hear him and is coerced into helping. Did you ever wonder why ghosts don't fall through floors? They can go through doors and walls. Like time travel, it's probably better not to think about the details. After encountering another spirit, Sam realizes it is possible to interact with objects. With the help of newfound abilities and Whoopi Goldberg, they might just have a chance to save Molly. And in one of those scenes, really romantic moments, but it's actually creepy as hell, we have Sam and Molly being all romantic. Only that's actually a possessed Whoopi. Ugh. Don't use your imagination here, people. Thanks for spending some time with Dr. Love. When you get a little something something on Valentine's Day from your special lady, give her a little smooch and a smack on the bum from me. If you can think of any other chick flicks that don't suck, let us know because we all in this together, son. This is Dr. Love signing off. Oh, 